that you should sit in a proper light you should speak confidently you should have a clear vision what would you be doing like typical Correct. hr questions you need to be typical hr questions hackathon is the most important thing to get an internship like in hackathon you need to perform well Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas, guys. I'm Kabir Singh, and I'm here with another spectacular interview for you guys. So today we have Tanvi Saxena, and we'll be discussing about a really famous company out there with her. So she has got as an intern in J.P. Morgan and Chase. So we are going to discuss how her interview went and what all was there, how many rounds were there, and we'll try briefing out every round for you as well because her interview experience was a little different because. she apparently got into the interview uh, got into the company through a hackathon so let's see how it went and let's welcome her for the interview experience now so hi tanvi how are you doing hey kabir i'm doing well so i am tanvi and i'm studying in banasthali vidyapeet i am a third year student pursuing btech and uh, majoring in computer science i am a google generation scholar and i'm also an upcoming summer intern at jp morgan and chase so That's yeah great. this was all about me that's really nice and we can you give me a brief at how many rounds were there when you sat for the jp morgan interview okay so the recruitment of jp morgan and chase was very different from the recruitment of other companies like it was not a normal recruitment like after oa we have different interviews usually in, right. to crack any company jp Correct. morgan and chase we had three rounds The first okay. one was OA. We got a mail from our uh, college campus placement cell in Feb, mm-hmm. around Feb, that there would be an OA online assessment coding round. Okay. So the coding round consisted of two questions, which were to be done in one hour, and the level of questions was from easy to medium. I got two questions. Both of them were easy, but my friends, some of my friends got easy, medium, medium, medium. So it was a mix. For everyone had their different set. So okay. How would round, you rate your entire OA? Like, you would you rate it to be easy, medium, or hard? It was medium. Okay, it was medium. And how many questions and how much time was given to you? It was for sixty minutes, and in sixty minutes we had to do two questions. Okay, sixty minutes and two questions. That's not bad. That's not bad because you get thirty minutes out there. Because generally, what I have Heard for other companies, it's around minimum of three questions, which makes it a little difficult for them to solve it because you know you get an approach. So actually, the time constraint was the main issue only. It, it okay. was the time constraint. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So moving on to the second round, what actually happened in that? Tanvi. So after we had given the OA in the next month, like around March, we got a mail from campus that whoever had attempted the OA has to give a higher view interview. So basically, okay. higher view. the platform where which uh, where we have to record ourselves like they give two questions on the spot and you have to record a video of yourself you have okay. to speak to for 2 minutes per question 2 minutes like the first uh-huh. question was what are your career goals second question was something similar to career related questions only like they were okay. on the spot questions and you have to answer them and it was okay. totally a recording no one was sitting live there asking you questions Okay that's great yeah. and how difficult did you find it when you were doing this It wasn't actually difficult I had talked to some of my seniors they told that usually the questions repeat like the okay. questions these two questions were same for everyone so okay. I had seen previous medium articles and asked some seniors they were quite mm-hmm. similar HR type of questions like what would you do in future what are your career goals okay. similar questions Okay. Yeah. So it was pretty easy for you out there. Yeah, it was easy. No doubt. Okay, that's really nice. And what happened in the next round after that? Okay, so every process was happening every month. Like in February, I had given the OA in March. We mm-hmm. got the high school interview link, and in around April, I guess April, we received a mail from campus that these students have been shortlisted based on their OA and higher view interview. Like it was a okay. cumulative score of OA and higher view interview. so mm-hmm. higher view interview was basically it was actually some of my friends were rejected in this round also because okay. of some issues like brightness was low or you were not confident during answering the questions right. so yeah and like 40 students were shortlisted from our college for the hackathon like okay. these students were actually shortlisted for the hackathon and i was one amongst them so okay. the hackathon happened in june okay it was a two day event yeah so in hackathon like five to six students were randomly assigned a mentor like different different colleges students were assigned a mentor 
Okay. Like in my team, there were five or six students. Like one from one one was from Manipal, NIT, Durgapur, etc. We okay. didn't know each other. We were all strangers to each other, and mm-hmm. we got to know that our team is this, this, this just two days before the actual hackathon. Okay. So during the hackathon, we were assigned two mentors, and what happened in our hackathon was like different different NGOs presented their problems that they mm-hmm. want an educational solution, they want a health solution, they want an agricultural solution. So we had to rank the projects and we got okay. the project which we had ranked first, like the first preference along with my team members. Okay. Then the actual hackathon started and what happened in hackathon was we had divided the work like the front end, back end. It was purely a hackathon and the main here role comes is the mentor. Like mentor was completely into our project. Like he was coming in between Correct. asking what are you doing? What are you contributing? Like he was totally into the project. Even he was there with us till one o'clock at midnight and he came back uh, in the morning at seven o'clock. Okay. So, yeah. So we were in constant touch with them and he was aware what we were doing in our whole hackathon. So he supported us very well. We had doubt, doubt resolution supporters as well. So the hackathon was very cool, but everyone did not internship after the hackathon. So here comes one more thing. Like during the hackathon, you need to be in constant touch with the mentor. You need to tell everything, whatever you are contributing to your project. You just need to keep him informed that you are into the project and you are actually doing some work. Because we had a team of six members. One of them was not at all interested in the hackathon and he wasn't contributing and he was not at all like looking into the meetings as well. So our mentor was aware about him. So out of six people, we five got the offers because Correct. we were like actually building a project. Yeah, that's really nice. So that's really was- nice. So I really love the way you had this uh, interview experience than me. But, you know, being a college student, what would you recommend your peers or maybe your juniors coming up to, you know, do so that they can get a good internship like you? Every stage has its different preparations. Like for the OA, right. you need to practice questions on lead code, Correct. GFG or anything you are comfortable with. Like mm-hmm. the questions were very similar to lead code, easy, medium questions. So I would suggest the junior should do lead code questions regularly okay. on a regular basis. And for higher view interview, I would suggest that you should sit in a proper light. You should speak confidently. You should have a clear vision. What would you be doing? Like typical Correct. HR questions. You need to be typical HR questions. And for hackathon, like hackathon is the most important thing to get an internship. Like in hackathon, you need to perform well. Correct. Otherwise, you won't get an offer because many of my friends didn't get offer. Even though they were performing well, they were the winner. My team was the finalist. Like two teams Correct. went to the finals, winner and the finalist. So we didn't win even though we were the finalists. So if you are doing well, then definitely your mentor would look into you and he would give your name because ultimately it's mentor's call. He gives the names to company that these are the students who would be best the perfect fit for, fit the, for the right. That's great. That's great. I really thank you Tanvi for coming up and helping us out with this interview experience. And I hope, you know, people watching this get it in handy while they sit for companies like JP Morgan. Also guys, again, a reminder, you want to read this interview experience out. I'll pin the link in the description below. You can go and have a look and I hope you liked the video. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one guys thank you so much for watching happy coding